Hey, what's up, you guys? YatexM here, everyone's favorite YouTuber who stutters and mispronounces. And today, we're doing a top 10 list, something I haven't done in months. And uh, <clears throat> this is going to be the top 10 modern black metal bands. And by modern, I mean each band I'm going to show you in each slot is going to, has had to at least formed within 2010. If a band for, formed around 2009 or prior, it doesn't count in this list. So anything that's black metal that's formed in 2010 or later is considered for this list. And these 10 acts prove uh, should prove you wrong if you think black metal is a dying scene or you think it died in the 90s because it has not whatsoever. So first one on this list, and remember guys, this is my opinion, the whole point of it, so you discover new stuff. The first one on my list at number 10 is Seeds of Iblis. They formed in 2011. Now, I know, you know, it's not really proven they're from Iraq or, you know, what who what members are or whatever. I'm only putting it on this list because their album anti Quran Rituals is a really fucking killer album, uh, regardless who or where they're from. And Seeds of Iblis, though, uh, like I said, not much is known about them, but goddamn, damn, that album, like I said, anti Quran Rituals, you definitely need to check that out if you have, and I'll put a link to uh, it in the description below, along with the other nine acts I'm going to be presenting to you. So that's number 10, Seeds of Iblis. Number 9 is Dead in the Manger, and this is another band that really there's not much known about them, because they just haven't put out any information yet. I'm only going to assume they're from 2010 because their first release was from 2014 and I'm just going to go by that, that they formed around 2013, 2012 or something like that. But Dead in the Manger is a black and grindcore band that, uh, again, I, nothing's known about them. They're band members even, they have like nothing listed and it makes me want to go to the California Death Fest all the more just to find out what these guys are about or whatever, to see them live. So, um, Dead in the Manger, top-notch black and grind core that you guys cannot pass up on. And they make it number nine on this list. <clears throat> Coming in at number eight is one of my favorite bands from last year that put out one of the best albums from last year. And number eight is Apparatus. This band is from Denmark, and they are an experimental black and death metal band that pretty much is an in vain of Portal. Like, it's very well done Portal worship that is extremely demented and just sounds really unwelcoming sounding. And they have this um, experimental sound done right to where it doesn't seem so weird what they're trying to be weird. It's weird in the form of just being disturbing and bone chilling. This is a band that um, really deserves a lot more uh, <clears throat> recognition just for the fact of how much they stand out in the scene. So definitely check out Apparatus at number eight. Coming in at number seven, I believe it's called Sor Sorluga. And this is a Canadian raw black metal band that formed in 2010, so they just made it on this list. And I did get uh, their latest album that I showed off in my previous uh, update. And my god, it is so ritualistic and so abrasive and harsh and cold. Like, every time I listen to it, I honestly feel like I'm in a snowstorm. Just how fucking cold and abrasive it is that it's an experience all itself. And what I really enjoy about it, too, is those vocals. It really has, like, this black slice sound to it that is just really haunting and howling. And it's an experience all itself. Overall, this is a band that has a shit ton of promise. And you definitely need to keep your eye out for them. So they come in at number 7. Coming in at number uh, 6 is a black metal band that formed in 2013. And they're from Mexico. I believe he's from Mexico. So it's a one-man project, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> and this is Luvia. And I don't know much about them. I've heard bits and pieces in an album or two. Or I think the only one album that they have available and holy shit, this is absolutely atmospheric as fuck. Yet at the same time, very dark and very evil sounding. It's a combination that it's hard to find. It's either you're a really abrasive, dark, and evil sounding, or you're atmospheric and breathtaking. And Luvia kind of mixes both together to make a really unique sound that's very distinct and stands out. And I uh, definitely need to pick up something by Luvia, even though it's a pain in the ass to find. But definitely do not pass up on Luvia. It has a shit ton of promise. 
Next up at number five is my favorite band from Japan, and it's Reek of the Unseen Gas Fumes. And I love the fact that I discovered them by doing lists like this. And when I did my top ten um, Japanese black metal bands, I uh, searched as best as I could for each band to fill the slot. And Reek of the Unseen Gas Fumes, without a fucking doubt, took number one easy as fuck. And this band, uh, it's not really confirmed which year they were formed in, but I'm going to go by the fact that they were formed in 2012 because that's when their first demo was dropped, which is the one, one of the most wanted things on my list, but it was only pressed to 30 copies, so I'm most likely not going to get it unless they... Uh, reissue it or put it on a compilation. But Rika the Unseen Gas Dreams only has splits and demos and compilations, but oh my god, it is so fucking full of hatred. Like, this band is the definition of aggressive hatred, and <clears throat> it's just fucking intense. Like, if you just want pure hatred in a musical form, Reek of the Un Unseen Gas Fumes perfectly embodies it. If you're a fan of Revenge or Goat Penis, you will have no trouble whatsoever liking and enjoying Reek of the Unseen Gas Fumes. So they come in at number five. Coming in at number four is so far the band that's put out the best year for the best album for this year. Uh, sorry, for 2016. I believe it's called Scafe. Scafe. And um, this is a. Um, a black metal band from the United States that formed in 2014, and they've released a new album this year, which is the self-titled Part 2 or whatever, and oh my god, this is, for black metal, really fucking heavy, because there's some death metal moments in this album, but at the same time, it's ritualistic, it has like an, <clears throat> an avant-garde-ish type of... Uh, presence to it to give it like a death omega type of feel but at the same time these vocals are just so monstrous and barbaric in the background and like it has like a distant sound to it but it just ever so much grows more into you as you listen to it it's in one hell of a fucking band and this is their only this is <clears throat> their only second album as of yet and it's absolutely insane definitely check this out I already pre-ordered that sh uh, their uh, album as soon as possible because I can see it being very uh, on top of my end of the year list. <clears throat> Man, I have such a... <clears throat> there we go. Coming in at number three is my favorite black metal band from Canada. And this band, uh, though n nothing known as much about them, I'm going with the fact that uh, their debut EP was dropped in 2011, so I'm going to assume they, were f they formed in either 2010 or 2011. <clears throat> and this is Thantafax. And this band, though it hasn't released much and not known as much about them, has a killer fucking sound. They've only released an EP and a full length. Their full length, uh, The Sacred White Noise, is insane. Like, I honestly feel like every time I listen to that album, I'm attending a satanic ritual. It has that type of vibe and mood to it that is just so hard to do, and Thantafax mastered it with Sacred White Noise. And their EP, though I haven't really listened to that much has like this really haunting and disturbing sound that honestly if you want nightmares or whatever for whatever reason check out uh their debut ep because it's absolutely fucking bone chilling um other than that like i said nothing's known about them no one knows their uh, identities they all keep it conceived and their status as a band is unknown either we're not really sure if they are still active or they uh, disbanded but thantafax if you have not listened to them you need to do so right now Coming in at number two is a band that formed in 2011, and it's a one-man project called Abyssal. And this band is from the UK, and it has elements of black metal, death metal, doom metal, and some avant-garde and experimental-like work in his uh, sound, along with some ambient keyboards here and there as well. This is an individual that has is really has no problems mixing and matching different genres together to give it a really... Uh, stylized and really un unorthodox sound for this style of music, and that's what really makes him stand out about his uh, work. His, <clears throat> excuse me, his latest album that I have a trouble p pronouncing because it's one big clusterfuck of a word it was one of my favorite albums of last year. And the more I listen to it, the more I think I should have put it uh, album of the year of 2015. But his other works, too, are just as good. He's already made three albums, and there's a shit ton more to come from from this uh, individual, and I can't wait for it. He's off of Profound Lore, and you guys can't pass this up, so Abyssal comes in at number two. And number one is 
as of right now, my favorite modern black metal band. And this band formed in 2013. And these are misanthropic maniacs. This number one is Human Serpent. It's a black metal band from Greece. And their, insa their insane sound is unmatched. Their intensity is rival to no one. Like, they are one of the most intense bands I know of right now to come out of the scene. And their sound is just addicting. Trust me, guys. The moment you listen to their album, Inhumane Minimalism, you will get addicted to it from the first fucking five seconds alone. I can bet my life on it. This band, it just has so much fucking promise. And I'm dying to hear new work from them. And I really hope they will press stuff on vinyl. That way they can get more of my money. But yes, if you haven't, please do so. Check out Human Serpent, one of my favorite black metal bands just in general. And they have a shit ton of promise. So yeah, guys. Uh, that's my top 10 modern, my top 10 modern black metal bands. Hopefully you discovered something new. If there's any other modern black metal bands that I didn't mention, because I know there's a shit ton, please comment and let me know. Love discovering new music in as well. Hopefully you did. Thanks for watching, liking, supporting, and subscribing. You guys are the fucking best, and good listens.